Hi, my name's Eleanor Robson. I'm Professor of Ancient Middle Eastern History and also the head of UCL's History Department, which I've been running from this shed at the bottom of my garden since the start of the pandemic. I direct a research group called the Narain Network, originally funded by the AHRC and Global Challenges Research Fund, and now funded by a generous philanthropic gift. The network recenters Iraqi and other Middle Eastern scholars in the production of knowledge about the region, and we do that in three ways. First, we fund and mentor and publicise locally led research projects that enable history, heritage and the humanities to contribute to the social and economic regrowth of post-conflict Iraq and its neighbours. Second, we rebuild research capacity through visiting scholarships, webinars, leadership training and networking. Finally, but just as importantly, we help to dismantle the historical and structural barriers to the success of such work through advocacy, consultancy and policy development with international funders, government agencies and ministries, think tanks and diplomatic missions. My research for the network focuses on lowering the barriers for Middle Eastern researchers and academics to use and teach with the scripts and languages and the huge written evidence base of the ancient Middle East. The region's universities and research institutes are desperately underfunded and neglected. So open access, reusable online resources are a natural solution to increasing the accessibility of accessible academic research, teaching materials and resources for uh, interested members of the public. ORAC, the Open Richly Annotated Cuneiform Corpus, is my discipline's collaborative cooperative platform. It now houses millions of words of historical resources, edited and translated by researchers all over the world, except, ironically, the Middle East. Orex infrastructure was built over 15 years ago, before small screens or responsive design, and with no capacity for modern uh, right-to-left scripts, such as Arabic, Farsi and Kurdish. So the first challenge for us was to design software that, that was simple that researchers could use to edit cuneiform texts and translate them into any modern European or Middle Eastern language. RSDG's first generation editor is called Namu, after the Sumerian creator goddess. It's worked really well for many years now, but its code base is hard to maintain. So, the, so RSDG is now developing its daughter called Nisaba, named for the Sumerian goddess of writing. The second challenge was to update the ORAC website to make the increasingly huge corpus properly searchable and to display the results nicely on small screens running on 3G or 4G and phone networks. And that's about to go live in the next few weeks. The Narain Network is about to begin a three year research project exploring the idea of knowledge rescue, focused on the Babylonian city of Kish, south of Baghdad, which was excavated pretty terribly by British and American archeologists nearly a hundred years ago, and is now falling apart. The idea is to think beyond the repatriation of artifacts to rescue and return the knowledge lost by colonialist exploitation for the benefit of the Iraqi State Board of Antiquities and Heritage and for Iraqi universities and museums. I'm currently recruiting for an Arabic speaking cuneiformist to help me edit and publish on RSDG's new improved ORAC website, the 600 or so cuneiform tablets that were removed from Kish to the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford in the 1920s. And we're also planning to run training sessions for Iraqi and Syrian students and researchers so that they too can use Nisaba and Orak for themselves on whatever ancient historical material that is interesting and useful for them. <laughs>